All right, I thought I would try to measure one of these. So it's supposed to be a 50 ohm system. So I put a 50 ohm connector on here and what I've done is I've uh, um, soldered a SMA connector and the center pin, um, I cut my center on the connector, I cut the center pin down short so it would match the length of the part that was already sticking out. So I have a connection to this uh, plate here and uh, the center conductor then connects to that plate over there. So we should be able to do an S11 measurement on this thing. So uh, it is uh, around 1 point, 1 point uh, I think it's 1.573 me gigahertz. Um, so yeah, so let's get out our, um, let's gotta get out of VNA here. Uh, let me move the camera a bit. All right, so I am going to, um, set the stimulus. I'm going to set the start to, let's see, 1.5, 1.5, we'll start it at 1. Uh, let's go 1.4 gigahertz and we'll sweep it to 1.7 1. 1. gigahertz. Stop, we'll say 1.7 gigahertz. So now we have a start and stop of 1.4 and 1.7 gigahertz and we'll need to calibrate. So before I get to the calibration, I wanted to show off my new cables. Um, I found these at the store. They're used, but they are Gore cables, okay? If you can read the, uh, read the label down here. So Gore makes some of the very best microwave cables in the business. Um, yeah, it's the same Gore company that makes Gore-Tex. They make uh, foam uh, Teflon, and they make really, really good uh, coaxes. And this this cable new, I think, is somewhere around a $600 cable, maybe? Something like that? Yeah, these, these cables do not come cheap. And uh, I got these used for $9.95 each, so yeah, I picked up a pair of them. Um, so, and that's all they had, so, so don't, don't go looking for one. Um, but they're in beautiful condition, so I'm going to use that uh, on my measurement here. I'm using my uh, homemade load or uh, uh, so, so, uh, open short load test. So we will come back here. We will do cal. I'll do a reset and a calibrate. It says that we want to do an open first. So we will, we will be nice to this cable with a wrench. Do not want to spin these connectors. Okay, we have an open on there. It's it's good not to touch anything when you're doing these cows. Um, and so it's just going to be sitting there in the breeze. I'll do my open. Now it's going to need a short. So these are all of the variables needed to do the right calculations to get a correct gamma function. And, uh, fancy VNAs do even more calibrations than this one does. Um, so if you want to maybe measuring 50 gigahertz, you got to be very careful. Okay, so there's our load. And also we're done. And go ahead and save it. Um, okay, so now let's go to display traces. Let's get rid of this one. Trace zero uh, is log mag. And When we disconnect this, we should have a line up at the top. Yes, we do. I'll zoom in here so you can look at this better, but let me get the antenna on here first. Oh, it's really hard videoing these. Uh, 
nano VNAs because they're light and they kind of want to go everywhere. I don't have a really good way to good way to hold them. So let's zoom back down and see what's going on. And uh, I think let's see here. Is that going to be? Yeah, I can hold it there. Let's get rid of that. So you can see that we have a dip. All right. So we're getting a very nice dip. Let's see if we can't move the cursor onto that dip. It's a little bit sensitive. There we go. 1.5695, so 15.7. So we're getting a dip, they're right there at 1.57. And it's um, about minus 25, uh, minus 25 dB, so very, very, a very, very nice match. If we want to take a look at this, uh, let's see here, trace, oops. I want to do trace one, or is it trace two? Let's see, how do you format? Uh, let's do Smith. There we go. So, um, That doesn't look right. Smith chart, 50 ohms. Why isn't it? Why isn't it displaying correctly? Can't be perfect 50 ohms there. Hmm. That's very odd. Let's do trace two. Log mag. Format Smith. Oh, there we go. That one's working. Uh, oh, I think I was looking at a different wrong, wrong stuff. Anyway, there you go. Uh, let's make sure the camera is picking this up correctly. Get rid of all the reflections. So yeah. So here is our dip. Um, so this dip, you can imagine a wheel rolling with a with a spot on it, and as it goes around, it goes whoa down the up, and that's kind of what this wheel does here. It goes loop makes this loop uh, like that, and we're getting the very best. So we want to be right here at the center of the Smith chart, and we're very, very, very close. Um, so yeah, it's it's working, it's working as an antenna. It's working really, really good. So it's quite clever. It's such a small little antenna, and uh, it does seem to have quite good performance. I know some of this going to say, "Well, we want to see the SWR." Okay, okay. Let's hear. Um, Let's do format SWR. There we go. We're measuring uh, 1.15 SW VSWR uh, at the peak there. Um, so, yep, it's a very, very, very good match. All right, I hope that was interesting. Um, it does seem to like make a nice little antenna, and uh, we got to use our. Uh, our uh, Nano VNA. Uh, this one's got up to 4 gigahertz, I believe. Um, measure a fun little antenna.